Hey guys, welcome back to another Banished. I'm going to uh, explain to you pretty much how the trading post works. So let me pause it real quick and give you a rundown. What happens is inventory is it shows all of the items you can possibly have in the game. From stones to walnuts that you get from trees, from f firewood, logs, onions, etc. What happens is this little guy comes pretty much only once a year and it's about springtime so after winter and what happens is when you stock it up you get workers and they will take supplies from either your barns either your storage barns your stockpiles or your markets and they will drive it back with wheelbarrows all the way to wherever you have your trading post and before I tell you further you have to have a trading post either on the main river which is the Fatter River not the stream that won't work first of all won't fit in and second of all you have to have this guy you'll see okay you'll see him he'll come you know strolling down the river either that have it there or have it on a lake I would put it on a river just to be safe and he will come every about springtime and pretty much once he comes they bring a certain uh, amount of items with them they don't always bring you know the same thing and unless you order it if you order it for example this guy his name is I'm not sure what his name is but uh he brought with me he brought ale that's the only thing he brought with him what you can do is you can actually put auto purchase on so whenever a uh, certain type of thing comes like let's say you need clothes for example whenever a merchant comes it will you know you put it to however many clothes you want we'll say 80 and then it will automatically purchase that item and you set it to whenever merchant arrives or whenever it leaves and pretty much it will purchase that item I don't currently need that but let's get back to trading each time a merchant comes they will bring a certain item with them or certain item or certain like different items with them for example last time he came he brought chickens and I bought chickens and now I can have chickens in a pasture this guy all he brought was ale so if you want ale what you do is you set the amount that you want let's say I want 10 ale I would trade him firewood and then what you would do is click you would click trade and there you go it deducted 20 firewood from me but it, it, it yeah, excuse me and it de deducted wow excuse me I cannot speak uh, a certain number of ale from him and that therefore now I have that much in my inventory and he has less so you know it doesn't he doesn't have unlimited anyways besides that but let's go to orders what you can do is occasionally the same people will return over you know well whenever they return you can actually order things to be brought like, let's say I want warm clothes and wool coat what you can do then is you can say just once next time you order uh, comes back or every visit I'm gonna put every visit so that way it's kind of like a custom order and once you once you finish all the trading posts then you know you kinda just either wait for him to leave by himself or you can just click dismiss and he'll kinda run off by himself and what I did is now I have uh, ale from him yeah you know, he just kinda goes floats down the river and off the map and that's pretty much a basic rundown of the trading post I know I was kind of confused on how to use that at first, but then I kind of wicked it. And if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to comment. I will try to help as best as I can. Hopefully that kind of cleared up some things, and hopefully it kind of showed you a little bit of how to work the market. And uh, enjoy.